my REI bag and the things that I purchased to go towards my Appalachian Trail journey. Um, yes, I know there's still a year to go, but things for backpacking that are light are super, super expensive. So I'm excited to show you what I got and hopefully you will enjoy. Find my house. Um, it's not too messy right now, but uh, you might see my animals crawling in and out. So the very first thing I bought from REI, I'm gonna lay right here in front of me. You might be able to guess it from the shape of it. Oh, there's my dog, Chloe. Um, it is a Z seat by Therma Rest. I'm gonna open it up for you so you can see what it looks like. Basically the purpose of a Z seat, this is probably more of a luxury item than a need, um, but uh, I have really thought about it and it is definitely something I want to take because it can serve multi-purposes. So what this basically is is that if you're out on the trail and you want to stop and sit down, you don't have to sit directly onto the ground. Um, it'll serve that purpose. I can sit on it. Um, you can also lay it out and set your bag on it so that way if the ground's wet, your, the bottom of your bag doesn't get wet. Um, you can fold it up, throw it in a stuff sack and use it as a pillow or something of that nature. Um, or I could probably even use it as like a windshield around my um, stove if I needed to. I probably don't want to get it too close to the stove because it is made of foam. Um, but this is my one of my first purchases. So um, it is, like I said, it is a Thermarest Z seat. Um, a lot of people make these from their old like foam mats that they have. But I went ahead and just purchased this because it was like $14 um, at REI and I just, I wanted it, so I got it. So this is my first purchase. Then my second purchase was, if I can find it here, all right, sorry, excuse my rustling of the sack beside me. This was my next purchase. This is an Appalachian Trail Georgia map. It goes from Amicalilla Falls to Bly Gap, um, North Carolina. Um, it is very similar to the types of maps that you see in the AT guide. So it's got like the elevation and very cool. Like this had a little bit more information, but I really liked how it paired it all together. My cat is over here and he thinks he's gonna help himself to my salad that I have for lunch. <laughs> So this is my map, it unfolds, um, it's pretty tiny. This is very light, so I definitely think I'm gonna be taking this. Um, otherwise, I may just hang it on my wall and study it, so I wanted to get that. It was only $3.95 at REI. The next thing I was super excited about, took me a little while to figure it out, but I did figure it out. I was super proud of myself when I figured it out. It is my Sawyer Squeeze. I did research. Um, listen to lots of blog posts about um, this particular filter and I opted to go with this. Um, pretty inexpensive. It was $34.99 at REI and um, it works pretty simply. So basically what you do is the Sawyer Squeeze comes with these bags, the squeeze system, water filtration, and you attach one of these bags to, sorry, I'm gonna set you down for a second and try and give you a, a good view. So you attach one of these bags to the squeeze so. itself. So it's all attached. And then there would be dirty water in this bag and then you would just squeeze the water through. And obviously it would come out that end. Or you could just leave your dirty water attached there and you could drink it like a water bottle. Um, works pretty good. I tested it out last night. Um, it, this package that I got actually came with this cool mesh sack and um, some hoses that you can connect to it in order to create like a gravity filter system where I wouldn't have to squeeze it. And actually I really felt it worked better as a gravity system. Oops, totally stopped the video, didn't mean to. But you attach one of these bags to the Sawyer Squeeze on this end. 
and felt pump. it works better as a gravity system than I did as a squeeze system right now. Um, I'm pretty sure I'll use it both ways. So I'm gonna take all the components that came with it um, on my trip for sure. Um, I may not bring the syringe because a lot of people that, that have done reviews on it um, have shown ways that you can use like a smart water bottle um, to filter out or to back flush your filter. So super excited about my Sawyer Squeeze. Um, it is, I figured it is something that I could use now if I went camping. Um, and it's something that will definitely last a year. So I'm excited about that. And I'm just slowly but surely getting things ready. Um, so the next thing I think I'm going to purchase is probably trekking poles trekking poles I think I'll be able to use now um, and kind of enhance my workout because with trekking poles you can actually um, do like a speed walk um, type of form in your exercise when you're walking and it gives you a full body workout because you'll be working your hands and your legs and um, your arms pushing with the trekking poles so I believe that's going to be my next purchase um, so that was my REI purchase yesterday, my Z seat, the Sawyer squeeze and, um, the map of Amaclilla Falls through, um, Bly Gap, North Carolina. Um, so I'm excited about those. I am, um, today I, it's been really hot outside Florida weather. So last night, actually I had been, um, exploring winter park with a friend of mine and we got back it was like eight o'clock ish so it was getting dark i didn't want to go walk so i threw on a zumba video and andrew my wonderful husband came home from hanging out at one of our local music places um and i was doing zumba in the living room now it's my house and i wanted to be comfortable so i was doing zumba in like my sports bra and some underwear it was super comfy i was having a good time doing it and he came in and started laughing so next time you see him uh you should probably encourage him to encourage his wife not laugh at his wife mind you he did afterwards he's like i wasn't laughing at you i just wasn't expecting to see you doing zumba in the middle of our living room so <laughs> but i had fun man i sweated my butt off and it was definitely a workout i found a cool video on youtube and just went with it and um it was good i felt like i got like the, a really good workout from it um and then this morning super excited i um well for the last probably six months or so I have a scale in my house and that scale only reads up to a certain weight level and I have been over that weight level so my scale every time I stepped on it would just say error 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 so today I took out my scale I'm like mm, let me try this and I stepped on it and I got a reading. I was super excited, so excited that I finally got a reading on my scale. Um, so I'm not sure how accurate it is. Uh, it's a little bit higher than my last reading, but it's not too much higher. It was, I'm at 334. So that's still 10 pounds down from where I was at the beginning. Um, I'm still feeling so much better. I've got more energy. I've got a better outlook on things. Um, I'm eating, making better eating choices and feeling overall good about my health. Um, and I'm definitely starting to see um, like my body is reshaping itself. My stomach area is definitely getting smaller um, and I'm definitely seeing through here, like my neck is getting a little bit thinner, my shoulders are thinning out and my arms underneath my arms is looking a lot better. Um, so I'm seeing lots of positive things. So today's exercise, I'm going to throw the Zumba video on again, so that way I can do it in my air conditioned house. Um, I'm going to wear workout clothes today, got my workout clothes on. So that way, if Andrew decides to come home early from work or something and sees me working out in the living room, he doesn't laugh. Um, but no, that's not the reason I just have put my clothes on this morning when I got up, you know, so I'm going to do it right here in the middle of the living room. Um, so uh, for today, we're going to call it a day. 
no exciting adventures today just taking it easy I've got an appointment later on today and um, just gonna chill nothing big and then tomorrow we were we're probably going to go down to um, Delray Beach area, which is um, towards Miami. And we're going to visit a place called Murakami Gardens, um, which is like a Japanese style garden. It's very interesting. My mom said she wanted to go, so we're going to all go down there together um, and explore. So anyway, uh, we will, uh, we will, we being this wonderful animal. This is Diego. Diego. He's a pretty boy. And then, um, sorry, got distracted. The cat jumped up here. And yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow or the next day whenever I decide to post another video. And we will go from there. See ya.